<laughs> Nathan Show. Roasted it the first time. <laughs> Goedemorgen, goedemiddag, goedenavond. Or, Kalimera, Kalispera, Kalavrade. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Guten Morgen, Mittag, guten Abend. Sta Rosika? Dobre utra, dobre utra, dobre dobre. Dobre utra, dobre Yeah, you cannot hear her probably all the other way in the back there. Anyway, we are sitting right now outside because we're gonna eat again. Got some nice rice and some nice sausage, us actually, turkey and chicken which is super tasty. We have a lot of stuff to do today. A lot of stuff also that is not interesting for the vlog, but we're gonna take you along anyway. Uh, we're gonna make it a great day. And I'm talking a little bit silent because it's afternoon and in, uh, between three and five, or two and five pretty much actually, you have to be a little bit quiet in Greece. So it's like, the yeah, if you shout, people kill you. you. They go for bodies here sometimes. They talk bodies. Hey, Durak, are you chilling so hard? Durak, you see the birds? We skipped through like two and a half hours since dinner or something, or one and a half hour. I've edited the entire vlog, it's uploading as well. And we're gonna uh, go out for a second to do some grocery shopping. It is a Monday and we could do something. The weather is good. I see this, by the way. I'm very happy about my parsley and my basil actually growing really, really well. Are you so distracted? Are you so distracted, mister? He threw up this morning because he had a hairball. That's that's the only negative thing of this cat, maybe. And maybe because he scratched up the entire, like, veterinarian once. Huh? A little monster. Durak did have some issues with his uh, health for a long time. That's also why he's on a diet. I said it already in, a, in, in the past one time. But uh, the veterinarian actually had to call us because, well, she couldn't really handle him. He he pulled out his old uh, his own IVs. He got rid of the collar that he was wearing. He was wearing like these safety collars that they give him when they are having IVs and everything. And she couldn't get him out of there because he was being so aggressive. Now when you see him, he's like all pretty and just sweet laying here, huh? Like a real domestic cat, you little monster. But we still think that it's more of more of a wild cat, to be honest. He's sweet to us, though. And also, like I mentioned in the past, it is not every day that we leave him outside, but we've had him uh, inside for about maybe around one and a half year right now. Last summer, we never let him outside, always kept him in and only carried him in our arms. And now we trust him pretty much to stay in one place, but we still keep an eye on him. Because I'm sure this monster would disappear if he got the chance. And he, where are you looking? Are there birds somewhere up there? I don't see any birds. Or are you just waiting for the birds? Like mesmerized, man. Oh, stretch. I will let you go. I will let you alone. I was standing in your sun as well. Eh, a little. Meanwhile, Ilona is just like every single day right now being a PC or a laptop addict. No, I'm looking for vacations. Why are you looking for vacations? We live in a country where people go on vacations. Yeah, but they found some nice things in Malta. You want to go to Malta? Yeah. You want to check out the fallen piece of rock? Malta used to have a very nice uh, piece of rock actually that was grown like a... That was... A bridge. A, like a bridge actually, not grown, but it was like a bridge. And after thousand millions of years and everything, it just collapsed like last time. And I have no time. picture of that. And we don't have a picture of it, but that I'm okay with that. But I don't have a picture underneath that bridge rock thingy and I've been there. Why? Ah, you've been there? Yeah. I haven't. I didn't understand well, I that. I was only for one day. That thing in the back that you see there, that's our lamp because <laughs> last night or two nights ago we wanted to turn on the lights and all of a sudden the lights weren't off. So we need to hang it up again. But we didn't have a lamp anymore. So we need to do groceries anyway, so we'll get that as well. Um, yeah, that was a little update for now. <laughs> off to do our favorite hobby like we do every Monday afternoon or Wednesday afternoon just because we have to. <sighs> Ooh, 
But wait! <laughs> <laughs> You're stupid. <laughs> You're stupid. You didn't get in. <laughs> Takes are always like ages, I don't know why. And for those who do not know, this is my future car. And they do not take care of it, it's dirty. I don't know, I don't want a Mazda. I'm, five, I'm very happy with our Stacks. Are you stupid? We can sell it, it's brand new. You're stupid because you're keeping the camera pointed at me. Thank you, exactly, Love that's how it should go. Do you have a driving license? No. no. No? Then who's gonna drive this car? Because it's not even yours yet. It is mine, you just don't understand. It is mine. It's my car. Let's do our uh, favorite grocery thingies again, right? Now you can get a cart this time, actually. Learn to drive. <laughs> You're happy with your strobe waffles again? Where are we now? Jumbo! Jumbo Plata Plutza. Well, behind there is Lidl, of course, but we need to get some necessary stuff, so we're gonna walk at least an hour again inside Jumbo <laughs> Plata Plutza. That's how Ilona calls it. And that's probably from a commercial or something. I love this old part. I already showed it in the past, in winter actually, but I love this part of the train station. I love that, like the old wrecking yard. Too bad it's not in use anymore. Just like that, oh, almost fell there. Just like that urban style to it, you know? I actually noticed like the little things in life probably. Where the hell are they going? Never mind, Ilona's waiting for me, so we gotta go. You're waiting for me. Yes. Always waiting for me. Always. I, I'm always waiting for you. Always and forever. Mm. Why does it write Mikono? It should write Vol. Now we actually do need to get ready for when uh, the guys come over here for summer and they're gonna come in just under 20 days actually already they're gonna come by so maybe we should get them some balls or to play with they don't they don't have balls i don't think they have balls none of them <laughs> for emma i think something like this is yeah no emma does have balls just like you have <laughs> Last time when the guys were here, they were actually sleeping on one of these things and uh, I'll ask them for fun what they thought about it. Sleeping on an air mattress with two guys. Not the most comfortable thing is what I understood. I can also shoot you. One thing that I love about this store actually, uh, around the toy area, is that it says everywhere try me, so it has buttons. And I like buttons, especially if you push them all. Leave them. No, I want to push buttons. Uh, it doesn't work. They're horrible. You, know it is. you scare me, Messi. Holy yeah. shit, I, saw, I thought someone was standing behind me. Me too, when I was walking. Wait. What? When I was walking, I saw him. What's that? More buttons. <laughs> Sends toy cars. That is cheap. It's not much though as well. Mark, we found your favorite car. You can still do it. Yeah. You're, feel you're feeling weird. Well, there are 150 people going to watch this video, so. I don't know, but I could buy this. All right. Even though we're adults and everything, we see so much toys actually, and it's so much nicer to play around with that kind of stuff. I mean, Ilona just found a skippy ball, you know. <laughs> Do it. I dare you. Being a 
very good boyfriend, I think, if I give, give this all to Ilona. Wow. Yeah. There you go. We're walking out with the daylight of what is left. It got dark very fast. So even though we do not really always like that store, I do like to go there on these kind of moments. Just walk around when you don't really have anything to do. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Sometimes I think I'm talking to a wall. Also. Well, it's right. <laughs> We came back from Jumbo, we had a lot of fun there. I came home, I had a stroke waffle, and I had a piece of uh, very big opposites of each other. Piece of bread with low fat soya cheese actually, and uh, boiled chicken breast. And then guess what? We worked out. We did a full food, full, uh, we did a full 40 minute workout. And after that I found the power to do another 5 minutes planking exercise. That means 1 minute full plank, half a minute elbow planking, one leg up, other leg up, left flank, right flank, elbow again, and full again. I am dead right now. I'm gonna have a little bit of yogurt, just a little bit of yogurt with uh, maybe a banana in there. First, I thank you for watching this vlog. If you liked it, please hit the like button down below. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. It would really help me out. I feel this already is like climbing to 1,140 or something. Good going for you, dude. I hope you liked this vlog. Again, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.